Welcome to September 18th, 2008, the fifth work day of the week. Well, brethren, it seems like my friend Jim Burt has got over his computer problem, now able to send email. That's what we're getting this. He's the one that puts this together for me being able to put it out on YouTube for you. Okay, the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day 262 of the year 2008. Brethren, open up your Bibles, and so you'll be able to read chapter and verse with me. Write also these verses down so you can read the whole context that we're taking this out of because of YouTube and time and size restriction. We have to do it in the quick matter. Okay, we'll turn over to Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 18. Open mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Brethren, he's telling you if you have eyes, to see with. Open up the book and be able to read what the good Lord has sent to you in his letters, the Bible. Also, if you have ears to hear, listen. Let it burn into you. Some people like myself need both to be able to get the full meaning. Okay, now turn over to Luke chapter 24 and verse 45. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11. It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. He's saying there is some people that he has not called. They are trying to get there, but he hasn't called them. He hasn't opened up their understanding. Now go over to Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 through 26. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent, and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for it is for so it seems good in thy sight. Now, let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. We have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Now, Psalms chapter 139, verses 17 and 18. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. Romans chapter 11, verses 33, 34, and 36. In the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways! past finding out, for who hath known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor, for of him and through him and to him are all things, to whom be the glory forever. Amen. Temptations of the believer. Temptations to be resisted. Over in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. From strength to strength go on, wrestle and fight and pray. Tread all the powers of darkness down and win a well-fought day. In God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men, his 
a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Open my eyes that I may see. Psalm chapter 119, verse 18. Open my eyes that I may see the wonderful things of your law. Brethren, have you been following the Lord's law? Or have you been following the tradition of men? Do you want to follow the Lord? Do you like to, would like to see his kingdom? Would you like to go into eternal life? Brethren, it can be seen in the Bible. If you have not been following his law, you're going to have to wait in your grave for the millennium, the thousand years to pass before he resurrects you. If you really want to come in at the coming of the Lord, then get down on your knees and ask the Father for forgiveness.